I wish she was here, that I love her, and I miss her and her kids too. And it's hard. It's hard because it's heartbreaking. Tonight, a vigil for a young mother gunned down right in front of her three children. Family and friends remembering 28-year-old Samantha Lopez, who leaves behind two, six, and 10-year-old children. Good evening and welcome to News 4 San Antonio at 10. I'm Simone D'Alba. I'm Robert Price. Samantha was ambushed in her own driveway yesterday morning, shot and killed while loading her children into the car. A day later, still no arrests. News 4 San Antonio's Robin O'Guinye is live from outside of her apartment just off of Harlow Drive near Austin Highway. Good evening, Robin. Good evening, guys. This was just so sad. As you said, I am in front of her apartment and you can see people are trying to keep her memory alive here. There's signs, there's candles, there's flowers. And earlier when this wrapped up, there was even a balloon release. Now, it was so evident from everyone that I talked to tonight. They all want answers as to why this happened. Now, like you guys mentioned, we know that Samantha was 28 years old. She was the mother of three young kids. Her oldest is 10. Her youngest is two. Everyone I talked to tonight said she was bubbly, vibrant, and she was generous. She would help anyone who needed it. Tonight, there were so many people here to give encouragement to her family, especially to Samantha's mother, Rosemary. And one thing you can see from the video here is that raising awareness against domestic violence was such a big theme here tonight. A lot of her friends and family say she had been through a lot, but she stayed strong through it all. And we do want to mention, as of right now, no arrests have been made in this case. But right now, Samantha's mom says her kids are still trying to process what happened, and so is she. They're brokenhearted, and they ask why they, this, this thing happened, and they ask uh, if their mother's in heaven and in how they're looking down at her, at them, and they ask uh, why did this happen? What they did to her, they, they, they broke so many hearts. <laughs> and he's just a coward. He's a coward for doing what he did. Rosemary did tell me that her three grandkids are with her as of tonight and she is working to become their primary caretaker and to keep them all together. And she said as for the person who did this, she is asking that they turn themselves in. Back to you. 